What's going on, you guys? My name is Rage, and we are back today to break down the unlock here for Dokken and his event uh, that's coming up actually pretty shortly here. Uh, he is going to be the last and final member here of this Mercs for Money team, so definitely exciting, especially with him being the son of Wolverine himself. So, uh, first and foremost, um, there's an event here that's actually coming up called the Mystic Mercenary. That's going to be the bulk of where you'll be getting his shards. Um, and as you can see on the Marvel Strike Force blog post, really this event is going to be consisting of a few different factors uh battling an alliance war with the mercer money team um you're gonna have more points actually if you have both panda pool and docking already at five stores or higher so obviously that's going to be a big factor um and then as well in addition to using uh, ice weight campaign energy so if you guys are watching this beforehand um this is a good opportunity to start saving that up because it's definitely going to help out but the most important component of this is actually going to be coming from a separate milestone that's actually called the um wasteland i believe uh oh sorry my apologies it's a wasteland uh, event but it's called the running rampant um mystic mercenary event so this is going to be part of it as you can see this wasteland road trip event is going to be popping up right around the same time um that this uh this top mercenary mystic event is going to be live so uh we have to be very very mindful of this one this actually gives us a whopping total of about fifty thousand points so bringing that down all for you guys today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how to do this and as well, how free to play friendly is this gonna be overall in terms of unlocking Dokken? So first and foremost, this is the web milestone component as I said earlier, and with this event specifically, um, this is the only details that we have right now, which is uh, as you're using the Wasteland Road Trip Energy here, you can see um, with the seven day event, it's gonna add up all these different Mystic Mercenary Milestone points. So over time in the span of the week, uh, this is obviously gonna add up. And 50,000 points guys, you'll see when we break it down, um, this is more than half of what we're trying to aim for, especially if you're gunning for that monthly Mercenary contract in addition to the uh, the fully available docking shards that are actually included in the milestone. So this one is definitely going to be what you want to focus on um, and spending your energy on. So if there's an opportunity here to use power cores, this is actually what I would focus on because of the fact that it does actually make up more than like, more than half of, of what we're needing uh, to complete the event. As for the main milestone, again, this Mystic Mercenary uh, milestone, this is where all the points will be going. So let's take a look at this further. As you can see, this is the event chart here. Again, I uh, love the fact that they always outline kind of where the different colors are going in terms of the rewards of what you want to be achieving. So uh, let's actually zoom into the right here and take a look at this. Um, everything in orange is the mission supplies tied back to the monthly event. So obviously you want to build that up. Um, we have both Dokken and Death Pool shards actually being available in this milestone. So um, these are going to be the ones that we want to focus in on for sure. And then finally, um, the last orange that you see here being the mercenary contract. That's ultimately going to be the goal because you want to be hitting that and it is at that point going to also include all of the previously um, rewarded dock and shards as well. So that's a really good, um, in my opinion, a good scoring uh, kind of a goal for, for the entirety of the 70 event. So if you scroll all the way to the left, um, that's actually located on milestone 14, 82,000 points. And um, there's even some crimson gear, gear here starting um, at the milestone 16 mark at 124. 24,000 excuse me um you know you can see there's some 25 pieces of the crimson basic catalyst we got some armor catalyst in addition to resistance as well and actually 3 million of these t2 level 2 ions um so obviously this is going to also add up but uh, again guys there's a, actually another mercenary contract at the very bottom but this is going to be a whale stone so do not worry about that uh, the reasonable free to play one is going to be that milestone 14 mark here so um, how do we do the scoring here now? If we take a look at this accumulative one, actually, there's a couple of things that we can do already that we can take advantage of. So first and foremost, um, using some of these Mercs for Money at team actually in war is going to give you some significant sizable boost here. So you can see, if, um, and uh, as usual, guys, um, if you take a look at this too, the Old Man Logan uh, usage in war is actually going to have a whopping total of 10,000 points. If you guys haven't already, there is actually right now an exploit to unlock uh, excuse me, unlock Old Man Logan right now, even without Out of Time and Cabal actually being unlocked. So I'll link that below, guys, but it's actually a really rare opportunity that we've seen this because I don't believe it was intended by the developers to have this. Um, and it is kind of a workaround to unlocking Old Man Logan quite easily. Almost any player can do it. Um, so as long as you have 
uh, hopefully some gear tier 17 gear tier 18 characters in your roster uh, it can actually be done even without both of those required teams um, if you are able to unlock Dokken uh, using this milestone as well and using him in war he's also going to be an extra 3,000 points right there and then obviously having Dokken and Panda Pool at five stars and above is going to give you a lot of juicy points so if you guys paid for these characters overall they're they're going to be adding a sizable bonus here for the scoring and then finally the very end here um, playing a war battle with any of the Mercer Money characters is actually going to give you 2,000 points per character. So that does actually add up. Um, for uh, In my intentions here, I don't think it actually double dips here if you already have Old Man Logan, Dokken, and Panda Pool. I think it is actually directly tied back to more so um, Deadpool and Devpool as they are the, the two characters that are actually not... Uh, included in this uh, combination here so i'm gonna be conservative here i'm just gonna assume it's these two if i'm understanding the math here correctly uh, and then finally the spending of ice weight energy and the mirror earning the mystic mercenary milestone points that was really touched on from the web milestone so what does this mean guys when we put this all together in my summary table this is going to be the game plan right here uh, again for this seven day event uh, mystic mercenary um or ice away campaign energy does actually count five points um, per energy that you use so um, assuming that you don't use any power cores actually at all um, this you're getting close to around a 600 um, energy usage per day uh, multiplied by the five and seven that's going to give you close to 21,700 points now using any of the uh, merch for money team with the exception of old man logan uh, Dokken, and panda so in this case only dev pool and uh, dev deadpool you should be getting close to 18,000 points here uh, completely free to play um, just because of the fact that uh, you're going to be you know getting obviously the uh, the different attacks here uh, and so forth with logan Dokken, and panda pool uh, that's going to give you actually an extra 16,000. And then finally, as I touched on earlier, the web milestone is very, very important here. Um, adding a whopping total of 50,000, which gives us actually 105,000 points, 700. Um, that is good enough to not just uh, complete and, and uh, actually ensure that you get all 45 shards of Dokken located at milestone 12, 66,000 points. That's going to give you the unlock for Dokken, and you can even use him as well in the war to ensure that you get that extra 3,000 points um, being utilized here for the scoring um, 82,000 points is going to be easily cleared as I showed earlier with the mercenary contract and more importantly guys um, I am going to be interested to see how this energy comes for that wasteland event because uh, this 50,000 I'm wondering if it's feasible with uh, with, with well coring and we may have to be on the watch for that to ensure that this milestone does get completed so it could be as much as you know 100 cores per day maybe even 200 i'm not sure but the good news is that we actually do not need to be coring for any ice weight energy um so as long as you're able to maintain that you know 500 to 600 energy per day usage obviously hitting that daily objective so overall guys it's actually a really free to play friendly event um you're going to easily unlock dock in here at the 45 shard 66,000 points and the mercenary contract at 82,000 points is really good so um even if we're not able to complete the web milestone you should have a really good shot at still unlocking dock in um and again hopefully you guys can take advantage of the old man logan legendary exploit right now which i'll link below as well so do let me know what you think in the comments below guys as always appreciate your time and i'll catch you guys in the next one